little squirty bottle. Uh, <laughs> bastard with the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's not funny. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, there's a truck full of ice. That may be a clue to what we're going to look at in this video. We're taking a look at some Hot Wheels, color changing little places, I'll call them. Splash and Dash. Swamp Rider, and this other one called Spin Cycle. Yay! That's a nice Hot Wheels yay, if ever I heard one. Hang on, are you eating the ice? Mm -hmm. We need that for the review. But no, I'm licking it. Which playset would you like to do first? That one there, Spin Cycle. Yeah, let's do it. Well, this Spin Cycle set cost me $29 at Big W in Australia. Yep. Let's get in the unboxing. Bit of a curious one, we actually opened up this playset before and we sort of put it back away until we found some more places to look at. Oh yeah! Well, I assure you it's all in there. Oh. Uh, yeah! Table. Oh my god! It's so stuck in there! It's not. What the? Well, it's a bit screwed up because we have had a look at this before. And that there is the instructions. I dare say it's a fairly simple playset to put together. Keep getting it out! Take the whole thing out. Oh yeah! Looks like something Mummy could use on her hair after the review. We've got a colour shifting Hot Wheels vehicle there. We've got the thing that looks like a DJ turntable. And we've got like a, looks like a little splash screen there. And actually after seeing that, um, how much was this set again? $29? Mmm. Well I know these vehicles are basically a $7 car in Australia. So what's 29 minus 7 gives us the cost of the rest of the plastic there. Well, I've got a guest appearance here of Astro Girl. Uh, what is... <laughs> Astro Girl? What is $29 minus $7? Um, it's 22 $22. Yep. Okay, so... Oh, my son has assembled that set. Uh, basically, we've got $22 worth of plastic there. Uh, the hot water's in that squirty bottle. I hope I got it around the right way, and I've got to put cold water in here. Actually, I should read the instructions here. Okay, so you spin it to get a pattern. And when then, it does a colour change. And my boy is having a go here. How's it going there? On our first spin cycle. I'm good. Good? You're getting a pattern? Yep. I'm helping uh, Are you helping or hindering? Yeah, I'm, I'm helping. I can't see... There's a pattern Look. in that fire thing. Now let's get it back to... Um, let's dink it in here and we'll get it back to its other colour. That's the cold water. Because I'm not oh. seeing, I'm not seeing pretty patterns, and I actually got some water on the lens, but we'll keep, go, we'll keep go, fighting go. here. Okay, let's get some pretty patterns going. That's it. Stop. Stop. Okay, that's it. Sorry about the water on the lens, um, but that's sort of the cool, funky stuff that you can do with this playset. I'm sure my son will have lots of fun with that. And I know this is going to become a very messy uh, little review because Yay! doing the color shifting stuff, you tend to get water everywhere. <laughs> see that? Hello. The important part here, my daughter, see, she's playing with Hot Wheels. Shh. Be quiet! <laughs> Bastard playing with Hot Wheels. Who cares? I actually kind of like Hot Wheels. They're pretty good. Look. Oh, yeah, that looks very cool. You've got a half half color change going on there. Yep, we mm. like that a lot. Does this spray anything different than just. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's try and get it. Can you change the spray I'll on that? I'll change it for you. No, was it just a dumb one? Hold on. You can't change it, it just does one... Yeah, no, 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 please. I'm just, I'm keep cleaning the lens in this thing and I'm over it. It's no, don't squirt each other, please. Okay. Please, I don't want okay. fights in this video. Okay, I'll show myself. You just do a reset in the cool water. I just want to see one more spraying of the car uh, without any water on the lens. So what I'm going to do here is like a point of view as if the audience is actually squirting the bottle here. Scary, isn't it? I'm trying to be arty here. What are you doing? Yeah, um, probably uh, less is more. Let's see how it looks. Spin it slowly, please. Yeah, sort of works for me. Hope it's working for you. And actually, that water bottle is sort of special because it's got some Hot Wheels logos on there. Oh, yeah. So, what's the audience's thought on this toy? My son's actually enjoying it. But will he be enjoying it in months to come? That's the question. And that is the fun of these colour shifting vehicles. Just taking them, that's the warm one. Taking them from the warm to the 
gold. Oh, I love watching them shift colour. And we can take it back this way again. Oh, yeah. Uh, they are actually lots of fun, the colour shifting uh, vehicles. Never had anything like that when I was a kid. Hey, let's look at the next play set. Yeah. Which one do you want to do next? Go do Splash and Splash Dash. And dash. Oh, that yeah. looks like a very nice choice. But to move on, we've got to stop playing with this one here. Sort of that toy that once you start tinkering with it, you can't stop. Okay, let's get Splash and Dash unboxed, please. <gasps> cool, cool. Get all that Hot Wheels boogie out of that box, and there's the car. Oh yeah, and the car looks very cool. That's the set of instructions. We better follow those to make this place at work. Okay. And that is, what's that, a car launcher of some sort, is it? Oh, I didn't know it was it. I think it's a car launcher. Get the stuff out, come on. Oh, cool. You're okay. being a bit slow here, just unbox it. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Well, this uh, place set, let me see the price here. $14.40 at Target. I can't remember if it was on special or not. Audience will tell me. Uh, I better look at the instructions. I think there's a little bit of a build to do here in this one before we can start to play. While my boy is assembling the playset and the cockies are screeching in the background, don't you love it? Let's take a little look at this car. I think it says Demon Disposal on the side there. It should be a good color shifting car when they are like these plain colors. I think they do some great effects. And I'm semi curious because I don't know what its natural state is. That's a cool water. Oh, it's changing colour. Whoa! It's changing to like um, pink. pink, isn't it? Yeah. Um, put it over to. It's going to obviously change the white, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, before we try and play with this, and it might be a bit tricky. Um, oh, you almost got it working. He hasn't mm. actually done that. It's a bit of a. I don't know. Um, I don't know how to say this launcher. I'm holding it with one finger. Uh, oh! I made it work. Well, there's a trap door. <laughs> The car basically comes up here, hits this lat uh, thing here, and falls into. I put cool water in there, but strangely, the car uh, doesn't quite fit in the tank. Um, but why aren't I sort of surprised? <laughs> and from that, we've still got like a half color change going on. Let me just reset this. Um, that's where the car hits to trigger this. Um, what do you call it? Trap door. I'll see if I can do it again. Uh, this car launch has actually got like a ratchet on there so you can latch it back uh, to launch which makes it a bit easier. Got a massive storm about to hit us. It's getting very dark. <laughs> very ominous, isn't it? I'm going to try and do this uh, single-handedly. I've just had a couple of fails. I've got to get this right up close to the playset. Hold this here and just de-latch it and try and get it into the trap door and fire. <laughs> Take whatever. About five, isn't it? Well, here we go, um, trying again with this one, I'm holding it here, and three, two, one. Oh yes, I got it in. Trap door has gone off and the car's in the um, dunk tank. Oh, well, half the car is. As probably worth uh, pointing out here, let me just get this car back to its, um, its white stage. And if we go to really, really icy cold water, we'll get a dramatic colour change going on here. Like, I mean, really dramatic. It needs really, really icy cold water. There we go. My son actually uh, said to me, you've got to show this and show it properly. Oh, look. And it's gone back to white. Oh, wait. One more on the cold dunk. I've got to see it one more time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. You can put it in the... There. It's low. Yeah, it's got a, a little bit of residual warmth in it still, coolness in it. Because that is starting to get a bit, it's starting to get a bit cool, isn't it? This warm water's got to be very warm um, to really get it to snap back. That's one thing we've learned about these colour changing cars. Boy, I don't know what to do. It's getting very dark here. We've got one more playset to look at. And my boy is going to have a go at doing this playset. It's a bit of a tricky one to get. Okay, fire. Yeah, I'm not a fan um, of this component here. I think there's much better uh, car launches out there that Hot Wheels could do for us. And just on this uh, side of the playset, I can't see where I can connect in my Hot Wheels track. And let's say if I wanted to have it up on the end of a part of a playset, because we like to join bits of Hot Wheels together, don't we? It'd be nice if there's a track join a tongue or something in there, um, and it would give this maybe a little bit more playability. 
Well, my son has worked out a cheat with his place there. Basically, I uh, already have the trapdoor latched, okay, fire. And the car can fall into the water. Well, that was Splash and Dash. Obviously, the last place that we're going to look at is Swamp Raider. I'm thinking, did I say Swamp Rider in the start of the video? Actually, before we move on to the Swamp Rider Raider, I'll ask my son a question. Do you prefer this spinning playset versus this one here? Which one do you prefer best? Which one do you like best? <laughs> So you go, he's a diplomat, isn't he? He likes both of them. Well, maybe you just, um, you know, all these color shifting sets sort of play together. Maybe daddy's being a bit cruel saying, hey, where's the connectability with Hot Wheels track? Well, I've just topped up the hot water, got this back to being as hot as I can get out of the tap without obviously scalding hands. Um, it works really good when the water is warm. Let's get this one open, Swamp Raider Rider. Audience will correct me, I'm sure. Oh, he's always excited getting that Hot Wheels out of the box. It's like Christmas Day every day here. Same launcher. Well, it's the same launcher. Um, yeah, okay. This is also a fourteen dollars and blah blah whatever cost. Oh my God, look! That's a cool looking car. What is that vehicle? It's a bug or something, is it? No. What is it? Well, it's got wings there. Well, it's got wings. It's got to be a bug. Got the uh, constructions. What is that? It got a hole here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's something out of a science uh, kit. Yeah. Ramp. Okay. Let's uh, get the destructions. And um, let's work out what we're up against here on this very wet table. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't like the launchers. Got to say what I like and don't like. We do reviews, we don't do ads here. He likes playing with that squirty bottle, that hot wheel squirty bottle. Shh. Uh, <laughs> bastard with the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's not funny. No, no, no. Well, my son is painting with ice. I suppose that's the, um, you know, the easiest fun you can have with these cars. If you don't mind having cold hands, of course, but you can make patterns. Um, well, I suppose there's all sorts of ways you can make these color changing vehicles do funky stuff. And speaking of funky, this Swamp Raider Rider, whatever you want to call it, actually looks pretty cool. It looks to me very trash pack ish. You can play through trashes on this playset for sure. There's like a prime moving rig here which has got stuck in the swamp, as they do. There's like, I, I thought it was broken initially, but it's actually got these holes in it naturally. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like a burnout beaker. Anyway, I can describe it. There's a ramp, of course. This has got a very cool bug. You do get extra rubber bands. I should have pointed that in the other playset. Um, that bug there looks very cool. And, of course, you get that car launcher that we don't like or I it's don't like. It's storming already. Yeah, it's got a storm. It comes up here. It looks like it hits that. There's a little trap thing there. It goes through. The bug would go in there and get caught. At least it completely consumes it. And there is this... Um, what, what I can only describe looks like a toilet seat thing that opens up. Um, to reveal some more plastic. I think out of the two placets, to me this one seems funkier. It looks like you could obviously get your trashies at play here. Um, for the fact that the, well, the bug's in there now. Come on out, out you come bug. Uh, the fact that the bug is completely consumed, I like. You can reset your toilet seat. Um, it's got skulls and stuff on there as well, which is sort of cool. You know what I say about skulls, as soon as you put a skull on something, it becomes very cool. Is it doing much? <laughs> Can we take that out? Look, just let me. That, okay, that, that is very warm. Okay, let's take a very close study of this, taking it out to the cold. Really cold one? What's it doing? It's really cold. It's really cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, it's got to be super cold. I mean, like, <laughs> obviously, icy, icy, icy cold. Um, to get it, to take it to the warm. I want to see this. Hang on, take it to the warm. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, yeah. Let's do it again. To the icy, 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 icy cold. Over to the warm again because we love watching this, don't we? Oh yeah, very funky looking. Um, what is that? Do you think it's a wasp? It what do you cool? think that car is? You got any idea? It's a bee. A bee, and it's going to get some um, some decorations of some ice scrapings by the looks of it. Oh, I'm just. Getting the um, very, very icy water in there without having too much ice. Probably a big daddy fail here. 
and that part does just clip into the playset um, fairly easily. Well, I've set up the thing so it works. Let's see if my son can do it. You remember how to do it? Let's see. Let's see it work. Okay. That's on the floor. <laughs> but it seems like it came out of that launcher pretty well. If we get the right aiming and correct, we'll be into where we're meant to be going. Okay, we're gonna have another go. At the bug here. Okay, fire. Uh, let's have another go. <laughs> okay. Um, it's in there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can believe us that this place here, it does work. Well, we're hacking a place that already looks like we're going to be launching some ice. That's how children play, everyone. Any chance we can see that bug launched, please? Instead of the iceberg. And now he's got his hand almost trapped in a place here, trying to get the ice out. Imagine going to hospital with... Uh, excuse me, but I've got my son's hands trapped in the Hot Wheels set. Oh, Daddy's fingers. Be even worse, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's up in here! Come on, this play set's uh, getting derailed. It's getting very dark. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's like it's, you know, 9 o'clock at night. Well, 6 o'clock, I mean. Okay, he's got the idea of adjust. I think you need to see this. Let's make sure this works. Is it aimed up correctly? Yep. Fire. <laughs> of course, the bit with the way of forgetting every time is the toilet seat. You got to reset that toilet seat. Come on, try again. We've got to show Mr. Mattel this stuff works. Come on. It's not funny. This is serious stuff. I mean, the children of the world are de depending on us to show us how this stuff works. Okay. Shot. It's all wet on the table here. Elizabeth's son's getting the hand of that launcher, shot. as children do. One more shot. Come on, this time you're going to do it. Let's have some nice vibe here. Got a good aim. Okay. Get the car against the launcher, that's it. <laughs> Bush car. <laughs> it went in. Um, Daddy's going to have a go here, but i got a funny feeling this car is going to have a mighty battle to actually work in this playset. And maybe I'll show you why after I have a go here. Okay, I've got the car ready. Three, two, one. Almost got it in. Um, it's interesting, the back of this car, see how it slopes up like that, um, doesn't help it on the launcher at all. Well, there's the launcher which is ready to launch the car. The back of this car, when the launcher hits, see that? The back, of, it just actually rides up on the back here. Yes. Well, I've reset everything here. Let me have another go with Big Daddy's fingers because I want to see if I can get this place at the work. We're literally, you know, hard up against the place at there on three, two, one. Oh, I got it to work. Um, but you've got to be, you know, basically sitting right on the playset to get the bug in there. And the toilet seat has triggered. Mind you, I prefer looking at Zescala. I'm a bit curious to try it without this bug. I don't like the back of the design of that one. My son will play that in the water. Let's try this vehicle here. I've got a bit more space set up here. I've reset the uh, toilet seat on the playset. Three, two, one. Oh, I think if I have another go and aim it correctly, <laughs> slipping around on the water here, uh, I might be better off. The okay, curve reset here. I hope I can get my aim right. I'm a little bit back on the playset. Three, two, one. I'm not going to give up. Three, two, one. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, the back of that car works much better than that launcher. But from what I can see, the um, colour shifting playset that my son really likes is the one where you spin it around and you spray the water bottle to change the colour. It's that playset there called Spin Cycle. He's having a go with the car launchers, but I think they're a little bit frustrating for him. They frustrated me. Yeah. I think it's just fun to play by hand uh, versus playing with those car launches that um, aren't really doing it for me. Oh, oh yeah. he got it. There we go. It just takes a little bit of um, perseverance to understand what you can and can't do with this toy. I'm sure my son will get a bit of play out of all of these play sets. Um, you know, children tend to play fairly radically in the way they combine stuff together. And, um, it's all the fun of the fair once you've got a bit of Hot Wheels action going on with the colour shifting vehicles. Yes, yeah, definitely the uh, playset with the bottle, the spray bottle. 
I don't know, seems to be the winner. You know, I would never have picked it like that from looking at the uh, box artwork. But you know what children are like? There might be other children who prefer the action play sets versus the artistic one. There's been one series of Hot Wheels vehicles that I've purchased. Uh, a shark one sort of appears in the middle of a video, but it'll be hidden because no one watches my longer videos. Uh, I found all of them, I hope. There seems to be new ones appearing all the time. Uh, the Scorpion one was like the latest purchase. I thought I had them all until I saw that one appear. So many people have seen this in the background of one of my videos. Uh, I've had this for some time actually. Uh, they got very excited and people said to me, well, they're having trouble finding it. Well, there's a very good reason why you're having trouble finding it because it's actually a very, very funky toy. It, it'd probably be in the toy of the year. I'm going to do a toy of the year for 2014. I think this is right up there with it. Yeah, if I come along and press the right button here, hopefully it'll do some stuff to show you how it works. Yeah, much, much, much. Crash straight into the Hot Wheels carton. And if I push another button, it'll do like a little dance. Something sort of funky, bit of wheel slipping on the wet surface here. And sometimes you just find a toy and it's just pressing all the right buttons and bells and it's really nice to see when that happens. And most importantly, it's a pretty tough toy as well. It's taken a few major dives in this place. No pun intended. Yeah! <laughs> well, I better save the shark. We can't be cruel to nice critters like that. And what's my boy doing here? A Hot Wheels, what, Whirlpool? Ah, uh, that's pretty weird. But it happens like that here. Well, I hope I've enlightened you on these play sets here. They're sort of fun. They're sort of typical Hot Wheels. And hey, sadly, it's time to say thanks for watching and bye, bye for, for now. now. Bye for now. Uh, oh, uh, the tongue. Uh, uh, the tongue. Uh, 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 the tongue. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I better make it look like I'm semi-professional talking about toys here. I'll jam this one up the end because people say, Oh, but Lee, you showed the shark, but you never talked about its name and you never showed it in box. Well, there's one in box. This is a very popular toy. And the only way I really found out about this toy is my son saw it in Kmart. It's a $20 toy in Australia. It's probably a $10 toy everywhere else. And he just went straight for it. And what I'm learning is that my son is a great litmus test to toys that have great toy mojo. It wasn't until we took it home and we started to play with the buttons. It needs good batteries in this one. That's one thing we've worked out. We've chewed through a couple of sets of batteries. Um, this toy is fantastic. It just has all the right elements going for it. Um, my son puts Lego minifigures in here and rides it around the house. It's got some great detailing on it. He had it up in that kooky sand that you play with and it leaves really nice prints. I mean, it's been played with a fair bit, but it still looks brand spanking new. I'll tell you what, uh, it's been dropped off the tables. It's really been given a hammering at our place. Uh, it's a fantastic toy. Again, can I sell it up any further? And really, for $20 in Australia, um, it's very hard to find a good toy for $20. Remember how much we paid for those? You know, what would you rather? Well, what would you rather have? Some of those color shifting stuff, or maybe, you know, something like this. It's a tricky decision to make, I know. That's the back of the box, and I'm pretty sure underneath I've written the price. Here it is $20 at Kmart. Um, this is the hardest one to get. Um, I rarely ever see this one in stock. I see the other vehicles uh, there, uh, but this is the one which everyone seems to want. So, okay, there's that shark toy, lights and sounds, extreme action, blah, blah. It's a great one. I hope you can get it if you're looking for it. Double ending on this one.